there, this is Lori Cooch and this is the beginning of a series of videos I'm going to do to show you how to get the most out of Design Space. You made a large investment in your Explorer and your Explorer Air Machine so you should be able to use it and get the most out of it. And it shouldn't cost you a lot of money to learn how to use it. There's so many options available that are free. Um, for starters, um, Cricut offers lots of videos on YouTube. So I'm just going to go there. And if you're not a subscriber to Cricut, you just type in um, Cricut Official, I think it is, and there is their page. And here is all their videos. They offer tons of videos and training up. You know, they put videos up all the time on YouTube, as well as, as most of us product experts for Cricut, we're all posting videos, and everybody has wonderful ideas and techniques. So, um, I also have these videos, obviously, because you're watching one. So, um, you can subscribe to my channel. You'll get notified every, um, every time I post a new video, and I'm going to post them in the Facebook group as well. They're going to be numbered, and so tonight is number one. Um, I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded Design Space to your computer. So we're just going to um, open up Design Space. If you already had a Cricut Craft Room account, you do not need to make another account. You simply use the same login information, your email, your password, everything. And all of your cartridges that you own, your subscription if you have it, everything is going to flow right into Design Space. You can use it with Cricut Craft Room at the same time. I've had both of them open. You can't be cutting at the same time and, and you know really why would you but it's the same service and you can use it in both platforms. Okay? So when you first open your design space you're gonna get this little take a quick tour through design space video. I'm not gonna click on that because you can watch a video on without watching a video to watch a video. Does that make sense? So once you watch it, you can click Do Not Show Again, and it'll never show up again. Or you can just say Done. I keep mine. I don't know why. And it's going to... Ooh, I was already logged in. Let's sign out for a second. <clears throat> it's going to prompt you to log in. And... So here... Whoopsie, sorry. So here, I'm going to click Done. And now this is what you're going to see. You're going to see from inspiration to creation. And you're going to create a new project or you can start scrolling through all of these fabulous ready-made ideas that Cricut has. There's tons of them. I can't even count them. I don't even know how many there are. But you can um, break them out by home decor, fashion, gear, cards, photo memories, kids crafts, parties and events paper crafts, free in the subscription, free for Cricut Explore Air, and, and so on. So if you wanted to make free, you're just starting out, you don't have a lot of cartridges, or you don't have the subscription, these are free. So anything in here is going to be free for you to make, okay? And I love these cute little things they have for our bag. I, I still have to do mine. So those are there. Now to log in, you just click on sign in. <clears throat> and this is where your your same login and password for Cricut.com, Cricut Craft Room, everything is the same. You use the same login everywhere. I click on Remember Me so that it brings my email up every time that I um, log in. If you have never logged in, you create a Cricut ID right there. So it's logging me in. And I can hear my computer just going crazy. It's, it's going slow. So <clears throat> this leaves, it comes up to where I was. I was on the free. So um, if you have the Explore Air, the first thing you're going to want to make is one of your free projects. And this, this Hello Phone card is the project that comes with your Explore Air. So um, if you were to click on that, it's going to show you the materials you need to make it, what it is, how long it takes to make it, it falls in the easy category, and it's going to tell you that you're going to cut and write, so you're going to want to have your pen ready, 
and you're going to assemble some cards. Now you can see right down here, it is free to make this card. And all the supplies, your paper, are in your kit. So look in your little welcome kit that came in your box, and it's right there. So you can click on Make It Now. And it's going to bring, it just takes you right to your mat, okay? Simple. Right here, you're going to see the scissors. That's going to tell you it's going to cut. So your Cricut is going to cut when you hit go. And the, you see this pen right here? This tells you it's also going to write. And the, it's going to prompt you to tell you what you need to do. I would put your pen in the machine before you even start, before you put your mat in there at all. And if you don't know how to do that, it's the left bracket to the left of the blade. You just take the cap off, push it in until you hear it click. I put my thumb underneath the holder so that it doesn't move, and it pops right in there, and then close the bracket on that. You're going to load your mat. You're going to hit go, and I don't have my machine turned on, so I'm not going to do this. And it's going to um, it's going to make this card for you. Super easy, okay? But if you weren't ready to do it, you could click, hit this X right here. And you could click customize. And now it's on your cutting mat. <clears throat> See here? And there it is. So it's going to cut just as this shows right here. And I'm just doing basics because this is the video number one. But if you wanted to change the color, you just click over here where my mouse is. And you can hear my neighbor singing in the background. And you can change the color of your background paper. Plain as day. Whatever you want to do. And Connor, I'm making a video. <laughs> Sorry. And we'll cover the layers and how to change colors later in the videos. But those are just the basics to get you started. Okay. Um, your options over here <clears throat> under machine settings. Are your calibration. This is what you're going to want to do for print and cut. And we'll cover this in a print and cut section. So we're not going to go over that right now. Um, you're going to have manage custom materials. And again, this is going to be um, something we're going to cover in a later section on how to set up your preferences for your custom cutting things. Like if you were going to cut really thick thick poster board or cardstock. These all fall under custom and we'll cover those in a, in a video that's going to come right now. This is just number one. <clears throat> You're going to want to do your new machine setup. It's going to walk you through it step by step how to get your machine set up and um, so you, you can be playing within minutes. It doesn't take long to get your machine set up at all. <clears throat> and when you do this you're going to get some free images you're going to be connected to the design space and you're going to create the sample project we just covered. Um, it, as it says, it's easy peasy. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. So if you click on get started, it's going to show you how to plug the USB cord into your um, machine and into your computer, the power cords, and you're going to press the power button. Okay, This is sitting here searching for my Explorer, which is not turned on. I should probably go turn that on. Hold on just a second. So it'll find my explore now. <clears throat> and we can go to the next step. <coughs> Either way, it's gonna it's gonna walk you through step by step how to set up your whole machine and then prompt you into um, making that sample card. So if you hit continue. Um, the Explorer makes this thank you card, the Explore Air makes the hello card. Um, these projects, all the materials to make this project, are in the sample kit that comes with your Explorer, as well as the Explore Air received the um, hello card. So I'm going to click, click skip, because I've already made this project, and I don't want to make it right now. There's another little cute video for showing you how to start creating. And it tells you, congratulations, you're set up, you're ready to go. Okay? So your machine's now ready to go. That's it. That's all you do to set it up. <clears throat> um, you need to update your firmware. That's, um, I don't have um, 
my USB cord, so it's not really going to work. I'm, I'm not near my machine. But you do this first off. It's going to make sure you have the most up-to-date software for your Explorer or your Explorer Air, and so you'll experience no problems. Come on. And again, it walks you through everything step by step. You see, it's already telling me my firmware is up to date. <clears throat> so I don't need to do this step. Come on. Now, next on here, you have your account settings. This is your account details. This is um, your name, your email, your password credit card number, when your um, subscription expires, and what kind of credit card you have on file. You want this in here so that um, when you purchase images, you know, you can buy them one off now instead of a whole cartridge, that you can um, just purchase them on the go, and we'll cover that later as well. I'm not going to click edit account because I really don't want my credit card number showing up on this video, but that's where you would edit that information. And then next, um, to link your cartridges, on the top of your machine to the left side, you're going to see a little little door. You cannot just cut with your cartridges like you used to be able to with the older machines. So you put your cartridge in there, <coughs> and you go to this link option. And I don't have any to link, so I can't really show you this. Mine are already all linked. But you put it in there, and then it's going to tell you this link down here is going to darken. It's going to say click the link cartridge button, which is down here. And it's going to enable your Cricut ID to use the images on this cartridge. And your cartridges can only be linked to one Cricut ID. So you do not want to purchase images off of eBay. I'm not, sorry, not images. You do not want to purchase cartridges off of eBay or use from somebody if they say they have them linked. You will not be able to use them in your Explorer machines, either one. You have to have your cartridges linked to your account to access those. So I highly recommend not buying used cartridges. Always buy new, um, sealed in the package, and then you know you don't have a problem, okay? <clears throat> And then next is just sign out. That's it. That's how you get your machine set up. That's all you need to do. If you have any questions, you can always message me um, right here on YouTube. I'm available in the Facebook group called Cricut Explore and, with the little and symbol not spelled out, Cricut Explore and Design Space group. I will put this in the comments below the video as well. You can PM me on Facebook. I'm available. I'm online every day and I answer to questions as quickly as I can. Um, don't forget Cricut also has the videos on YouTube and all of us product experts are here to help you. Um, it's Once you figure out your machine and get past the little quirks, you're going to love it. You're going to use it every day like we do and you're going to just be so happy with your investment. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll follow the rest of this video series. This is the first video. Very, very basic. There's going to be more to follow. I'm going to post I'm going to try to do it every day, but it may end up every other day because life gets in the way. But um, I'm glad you're here, and I hope you stick around. Have a great day.